process sale. Mm, process sale. Now, um, I moved a bit too far because I still need the customers in here. If a sale happens, the customer comes in, wants to buy something or hire something, right? Yep. What kind of data are they going to get from the customer? I assume they get some, but what kinds of things would you get? This is just when a purchase gets made. Let me put this another way. Do you think for this process, than just the sale, okay? Do you think the customer would have to provide their name, address, and phone number? Pox says no. <laughs> Why not? He's right. Pox's right. Why wouldn't the customer provide all that stuff? That's relevant, right, to the sale. Why wouldn't they provide it? Steve, what do you think? Say that again. Privacy issues. Okay, what kind of privacy issues do you mean? Yeah, okay, that's all right. Pri uh, before we move on, privacy issues will be relevant later on, but I'm going to suggest probably not a problem because they already gave their details in, right? So if they're worried about the privacy of their name, address, and phone number, they probably wouldn't be shopping here or getting a membership number. What do you reckon there? Um, it's more redundant data because we just use the membership number. So. Bingo, okay, so you gotta think about, this is data flow diagrams, it's not just, okay, here's diagrams and there's the rest of the topic, it's, it's elsewhere, right? One of the important concepts under databases is redundancy. Now, if I've already got this in my system, it's already stored, right? This is the whole point of having a membership number. This is kind of like your, um, this is your primary key. Once you know that, you've got all the rest, okay? So probably the crucial piece of information that the customer passes on is the member number. And they do that when they swipe their card. Um, for another practical reason, apart from the fact that there's redundancy, okay? Can you imagine how long a transaction would take? Like how long the queue would be if every time you went up, you're like, okay, my name is this and my address is this and my phone number. That would take forever, right? And that's kind of the point of being able to just swipe your card, okay? That's probably not us, not all that they um, provide, right? Because in the question, it talked about the fact that, you know, they don't make cash payments all the time. They can pay in other ways. And this bank down here, right? That, that's kind of suspicious, right? So what other data might they provide the customer at the moment of sale? Your credit card number. Yeah, okay. Credit card number or debit card number or whatever. I suppose we could summarize all of that by saying, um, the EFT details. You remember what EFT stands for? The first three letters of FPOS? What is EFT? I think it's actually, it, it can be both, but it's, it's mainly funds transfer, right? Fun, funds, not, not fun, as in like, like funds, like money, okay? So it's just about money from one point to another. So whatever, maybe it's a credit card details or a debit card or whatever it is, but those details are gonna get passed from the customer to this process, okay? Um, and that could be account number, PIN, etc. It all has to go in, right? Okay, now let's, let's go along with that, right? That kind of um, implies that the bank's involved. Bank's involved, okay? So some data's going in, and some data's coming back to the bank. What do you reckon? What, what kind of stuff are they getting from them? This is now from the process, let's say to the bank. What are they, what are they sending to the bank? Yeah. Okay, good. So again, the same electronic funds transfer details, right, as before. By the way, you should watch carefully, if you can, whenever your um, parents are at the shops, if they pay by credit, if they pay by card, right? The FPOS machine, the little terminal, sometimes it's handheld or sometimes it's actually, you know, it's bolted to the register, right? But if you watch it, you'll see it actually do this process, right? It'll say dialing and then it'll say requesting, and then it'll say processing, and so on, okay? Every single time, it's kind of like a little phone call that happens, and um, there's a little process that happens between them, and probably not necessarily the bank directly, might be the host merchant, that kind of thing, but eventually it's gonna get to the bank, right? And this transaction has to take place. All right, uh, if that's what they send, what's the bank gonna send back, or what's the host gonna send back? Yeah, that's right, um, confirmation, maybe not even confirmation, because confirmation says, yeah, it's, it's done, right? What if my card's bogus? or I've hit my credit limit, what are they gonna send? Because they're not gonna confirm something that is not, not, that didn't actually go through, right? There's a step before confirmation, which is whether it gets approved or not. 
Okay, so they'll send approval or, or lack thereof. Okay. Right. Now, so far, we've got the customer actually coming in, buying some stuff, and the, this is the, the funds transfer part of it. But I assume it's going to be connected to the rest of the store, right? So in what ways will it be connected? Can anyone give me some suggestions? What kinds of things, for instance, might be going into that central database? This is a, um, this is a DVD store, right? So they're borrowing stuff. What kinds of things are they going to... Ah, good, okay. So, you know, we've got one less of this DVD on offer now, okay? Or two or 10 or whatever, right? And that has to get updated, good. Uh, what other kinds of things? Because hmm. remember, uh, sorry, yeah, I can't... Good, good, okay. So not just stock details, which is about what we have in store, but I suppose, um, yeah, loan details would be a very good way to say it. I've run out of space. Because the store wants to keep track of who's got their stuff and when it's due, right? And that's all to do with the loan. Good pickup. Okay. Now, probably this video start, store database is going to pass some information back, right? What else might it put back? Back to the same. Those with you yeah, good. Um, so, overdue notices. Right? Or maybe it will just pass back information about, like, not necessarily overdue, but just whatever um, is still on that person, that member's card. Okay? So, uh, more member details. All of this happens in, in one transaction. Okay? Oops. Okay, what else we got here? Now, I think in the case of the sale, right, this time, some data is going to come from the sales staff and not from the customer, okay? Because we sort of assumed, like, what if they come up, the customers come up, and they've got, well, the member card, right? That's going to be, let's get some random, let's see. Yeah, boost juice, that'll do. Okay, so some membership card of some kind, right? That's got the member card, swipe, right? Then you've got the payment, okay, so, you know, uh, Turn it, turn it this way so you can't see my actual number. Okay, there's my credit card. Oh, there it is. Swipe. Okay, so that's done. But what else has the customer brought with them if they're going to borrow some stuff from this store? It's not just these two cards, right? What have they got? Video. The actual video. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to swipe in and pay you for, just for the heck of it. Because why not? So they're actually going to bring, you know, whatever it is um, that they're actually borrowing, right? And there's some data on here that's relevant to the sale, right? What data is relevant? The barcode. the barcode, thank you. Now, that can't come from the customer, right? Uh, I think that's probably really gonna come from the sales staff because they're the one who's actually making the process happen. So I suppose we would say in here, um, video barcode or DVD barcode. Okay. Now, process sale. That was a pretty complicated process, right? There was um, a lot of data flowing in and out from a lot of different groups of people and a lot of different sources and destinations, okay? Now we're on to our last one over here. Move your returns. Do you reckon you could do it without me helping you? Where are arrows gonna go? What do you think? Sales. Sales staff? To or from? To. to. Why? And what? <coughs> what stuff will be provided? Okay, put yourself in the position. You are you're the sales staff, right? And it's the uh, the start of the day, right? So you go, you walk over to the. Um, I assume there's like some kind of bin at the front of the store where there's like a chute that goes into it. And overnight, a whole bunch of people have walked up and put in all of these returns. Okay, so you go, you pick it up. And then what do you do? Scan. You, you take one out and you scan it. What are you scanning? Barcode. You're scanning the same barcode that went out, right? So that you know, okay, this one is returned, right? So in the same way, a barcode is going to get scanned. And so that way you know, okay, good. This one, I can check it off. I can say that's returned. I can update some stock details and so on. How am I going to do that? Where is this process going to send and receive data from? 
Yeah, that's right. It's going to send some data here, right? So I'd probably say things like the return date or the time. Okay. Other things like um, the barcode number, which it got from the sales staff, right? It's got to check to see who does that belong to? Which member does it, um, is it currently registered to, right? And that'll all go in. Now, does any data come back? From anyone like does does this does this come back to here and send stuff back to that process you, you possibly could have a yep yeah, I checked it out like that's okay it belongs right um, possibly but it's sort of like a it's a very very small amount of data and it's sort of trivial to the system right you can imagine a system where no data is returned because like well I don't really mind I the job of this process is to update this not vice versa okay Later on, this is going to provide some information to the reports, and they'll be able to see, oh yeah, I um, all of these were came in, these came out, and these ones were late, and so on. But that'll happen later, not as a per, as a part of this process. Okay. All right. Now, there you go. From memory, this hasn't done too badly, but I think people were a bit sloppy as they went through and and put a lot more connections than. Um, sorry, there were two kinds of errors. You put too many connections, you're like, yeah, the customers talk to, you know, it's like, yeah, we're going over here, we're doing this, and we're, we're you know, we're talking to the bank, because why not? And, uh, or, and you're all, you know, for example, directly interacting with the database, which is a big no-no, okay? Um, or you had too few, maybe, I don't know, you're just like, oh no, one of these again. <laughs> I had bad memories, and then you never came back to it, because, you know, it was super long, okay? But that's generally what you're looking at. Remember the process I went through? Huh, get it? I was looking at the processes and going through them one by one. Okay, they're kind of like my key, and I just think about what data they're going to get and who are they going to get it from. That's it. Okay.